Hello everybody. Lemon Test sent me a link to this drawing here and asked <clears throat> if I would model this. So since I think it's a very pretty shape, I thought I'd give it a try. So here we go. Uh, this time I will not do it with bevels as I did for example my spark plug. I would like to show another method how to make shapes like this. By the way, I have moved the picture a little bit to the left because it's not quite straight. So I take the pen tool <clears throat> and go to type lines and enable all these snapping things. Okay, I start up here and we'll draw this out. I will speed this up in the video. So here we are. <clears throat> I take this simple line because it's quite much easier to draw out than with a Bezier curve or a curve, especially when you have sharp edges as in here. So next I select this vertex here, go to vertex, set position, zero on the X. Then deselect everything, go to Duplicate, Radial Sweep, 6 in is fine, Action Center, Origin, and around the Y, click in the Viewport, but Y, like so. <clears throat> Drop the tool, and we have a little problem, this happens. There is also another error which happens, but it's no problem at all. We go to the Polygon, Reduce, Unify, and do a Unify, and it has removed 672 polygons. I don't know why this uh, tool makes uh, double polygons. Anyway, it's uh, no problem to fix. So this is our first uh, part. I will give this another name, namely uh, body. And <clears throat> make a new mesh. And start to make these leaves here with a sphere about here, yeah. Mm. Maybe too big. Fifty millimeters is probably okay. And I sent this in the X and Z W key. Bring it down a bit like so. Go out of sub D mode. Select uh, the top of this. Delete, select the right half of it and delete. Now I select all these edges up here, set key and bring it up to about here. Yeah, here. Perspective. Action Center Origin, R key on the green circle and make the top a bit bigger, like about so. Drop the tool. Now I select edges in here, Alt C, with a count of about 9 should be okay, and uniform. 
then I can select, sorry, two here, no, first symmetry over the Z, two here, two here, then delete these, then I select these edges here, I got all, yeah, and go to Action Center, Local, R key, make them smaller, W key, bring them up a bit, then I select these edges here, still Action Center, Local, R key, and make them smaller as well, so we get a bit more of a leaf shape. Then I go up here, select a vertex here, W key, bring this out, W key again, bring this out even a bit more, like so. Let's see, yeah, that looks like a leaf. So, front view, and then I go to deform, bend, bend from about here. Hey, where did this one go? To about here. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Good enough. Now I can go to Duplicate, mm, Mirror, over the X, Apply, and the words have not merged. Vertex, Merge. No. Now let me select this edge in here, the middle one, R key, bring it together, try it again, vertex merge, now 13 words have merged, good. Next I can go to polygon, thicken, click in the viewport, and I bring this in on to the negative side, a bit, like so. Then I can select an edge in here, Alt C, but with a count of two, and symmetry. And here are our leaves. Good. <clears throat> okay, I rename this mesh to leaves. And we go to the last part. So, new mesh, front view again. We don't need to see the leaves. And we don't need to see the grid, otherwise we get confused, or at least me. Okay, now I start to do these ornaments. Go to uh, A cube and bring down a cube to here. Then edge mode Z drop the two Z and so on. I will again speed this up a bit in the video shift click Z
now from now on I will go and use the pen tool with polygons uh, do not use all these snaps make quads deselect everything and I start uh, here merge is active yes here I try to stay in the same areas as I did uh, the body part. So they subdivide more or less identical and look nice. So one more here. and the last one down here. Drop the tool. I don't need to see the backdrop and I don't need to see this here, but I do have to harden all these edges before I continue. So I will do it on the top one as an example to, to show what uh, is important. And you see, we need, come on, we need three such uh, quads around every of these corners and then it is supported and holds the shape very well. Again I will speed this up in the video and do the rest. So, now this is done. <clears throat> Next I go to top view and let's see with the body in, okay, and center this on the set perspective. Now I can go to the side view, don't need to see the body again and bring out a linear fall off with ease out from here to about here w key and ah oh, we're still in symmetry so symmetry off now it should work and bend this over a bit like so Get rid of the fall off. Let's see the body here. <clears throat> I use the W key again and move this over to about about here. Drop the tool. Now I can uh, mirror this duplicate mirror over the set apply. Let's see what we have now. Perspective. Oh, they're the wrong way around. So F to flip. And now I can select these edges and these edges and bridge them. Then select some edges in here. Alt C, count of two. Like so. Drop the tool. Now let's see how this looks. That looks pretty nice. Good. So just a quick look to everything with the leaves and let me 
Oh, okay. I must harden these edges also. So I'll do this right now. And again, I will speed this up a bit in the video. So, this one we don't need to see the backdrop for the time being. And start with the rings. Mm, maybe yes, I do need the backdrop. Let's see. About this size. Yes, good. Another one down here. Uh, control, bring it out, but with uh, a hole size of five. Yeah, about like so. Then I select this, go to top view, E key, rotate it. So perspective again, let's check this if this looks good. Mm, bit more down in W. Like so. Drop the tool. Get rid of the backdrop. Now I can Get out of sub D mode with these, select everything, go to duplicate, radial array, count of four around the Y, uh, action center origin, and click in the viewport around the Y, like so. Yeah, good. Get rid of. And we are pretty much done. So I can subdivide this, bring all the rest in. And go to the shader tree make the render window a bit bigger and it eight times eight and let's see we need to see all these a key And I take published bronze, uh, polished <laughs> bronze, and a nice layout, some outdoor load, so we get nice reflections. Yes, and put global illumination on and render it out. So, that was it for this time. Uh, thanks for watching it. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.